Back to the second half of the show. The second half is going to be filled with a music therapy session called Final Pick. And for that one, we're going to be joined by Yue and Alexa. Stay tuned and、uh, let's meet us each other back after taking a short song break. This is Alexa with Sick, followed by Da Pilsu with Who's Next. To look away, it's hard to watch. Dying while your clothes are coming off. Hate the way you think you're so damn hot. On and on and on and on and on. I search your body for the slightest flaw. Baby, you're so perfect and I'm not. Myself. As hard as I can love somebody else, maybe that's just how it's supposed to feel with someone you don't wanna live without. I suffocate, drown in my issues. I've got issues. Why won't you leave? I just don't get you. But you make me.
It's time to tune in and discover the best of K-pop and Korean culture on Radio News. Welcome back. We're gonna move to this next part of the show. Final pick. This is a music therapy session. And for this segment, we're gonna be joined by, well... Alexa, welcome back. And you of La Piluse, welcome! Whoa! First off, <laughs> say hi to the listeners, please. Who are you, first off? Hi, I'm La Piluse's UA. Yay! Woo! And who are you, ma'am? I, who am I? Uh, <laughs> I'm Alexa, and it's, it's nice to be back in Korea. Yeah! <laughs> been a long time, right? It's, it's been uh, eight so, years. So, um, how was the tour? Fun! It was really fun. Was it fun? Mm-hmm. Really? What is on Daffle about? <laughs> well, anything in specific you would love to share with us? Well, I my... mean, the word fun contains a lot of meaning to it, you know? I do. Yeah. Uh, my hometown, the venue was basically sold out. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations. Front to back, yeah. side to side, yes. it was full. Yes. Oklahoma represent. Yes. Hey. It was fun. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, got to eat a lot of good food, meet a lot mm-hmm. of fans, you know, got to see my family. Mm-hmm. My brother came out too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was very fun. Oh, okay. yeah. And actually, one of our listeners were at one of your shows. You know, sorry. Yes, her name is Stacy. And from what I know, she asked you a question. So there was this one time when you were throwing the show, uh, you were wearing that angel wings on yes. your back. And uh, she asked you, can you bring that wings over to the show? I mean, the show. Right. Yeah, yeah I yeah, have You totally them. forgot about that. <laughs> well, I didn't think I was bringing them today. It's the first day back. But I mean, I can bring them next show. I mean, you look quite natural and fun. <laughs> <With that wings. laughs> I and I noticed you were doing some sort of Q&A session with your fans when you were on stage mm-hmm. so what was that all about let me know yeah but. so before the show started we yeah. did like a little like VIP Q&A kind of session uh, so it was before the show then. yeah it was before the oh, show okay. um, and so there was like an exclusive ticket you bought for that and then oh. like um, yeah that, we did that before the show but I'm also a yapper I talk a lot <laughs> so you know during the show too in between numbers I like to talk to the audience and just you know Okay. Feel out the vibes and mm-hmm. how things are going. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 
And I got the impression it was somewhat like the show, a thing that we do on this show as well, right? Mm. And uh, what was some memorable concerns you received? Ah, that that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, yes. So during the show, like for like a little fan segment, basically, I received okay. like stories or messages about like relationship advice or oh, like okay. like love oh. advice. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, I got some interesting stories, some of which <laughs> I cannot share on air because it's a oh. little adult. Okay. But, um, <laughs> No, and it's just so funny because I I remember some of the stuff that I read, some of the questions and letters that I read. Yeah. Uh, you know, a couple of days later on social media, I would see comments be like, "Oh, hi, I'm the person that wrote this. I want you to know that I took your advice and I broke up with him, or oh I asked gosh. them out, or this, that, the other." So I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, boy, yes. yeah, boy." What else though? Nothing special happened during I mean, your stay in the states. I mean, uh, aside from the shows. Oh, are you yeah. alluding to the fact that I stay with my family for a week? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing special you want to share? I, I stay with my family for a week. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, my, uh, yeah, my dad. So he's, he's <laughs> so my dad's a magician. So he, every feel, I feel like every time I go back to the States, I was like, oh, I have some new tricks I want to show you. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> show me the magic man. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a chill time with my family, so I okay. enjoy yeah. chill time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for asking. Okay. <laughs> so from what I know, you came back to Korea 19th, right? Something like that, yeah. How did you spend the past five days? I've been <laughs> sleeping a lot. Sleeping for five days straight? Uh, no, but yesterday I fell asleep at 8 p.m. and I woke up at like 5 this morning. What? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's just for other reasons that I fell asleep that early. Yeah. But um, go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. I mean, considering the jet lagging and mm. other stuff that made mm -hmm. you tired, yeah, that's totally understandable. Yep. Well, anyway, good for you. So, how's life, you? Me? Yes. <laughs> it's been um, already a week since the last time we saw each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nothing special, honestly. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Th that's that's sad hey, to hear. Just <laughs> classes and yeah. just hanging out with the members and stuff. Okay. But, yeah. What do you get, What do you do with your members? In your I door. mean, in our door. Yeah. Well, like we just talk, yeah. have chit chats, and then like show each other like funny videos and stuff. Okay. And like, oh, also our, our one of our members, like Shanti, she's like, um, in the Philippines and kind of resting and stuff. Okay. And so like sometimes we would like send memes to each other, like memes <laughs> of each other. <laughs> like, mm. like since I'm doing the radio mm. like these days, she was sent me like funny videos of me at the radio, and I would like really? send like funny videos of her and stuff. So okay. Cute. That's what's been going on. <laughs> I'd love to take a look at the video she sent you. <laughs> what did she think was so fun about you, though? That yeah? <laughs> yesterday, oh, no, yesterday, last time we were talking about yeah. how, like, um, like, uh, what is it that mm. I, I'm always on, like, the treadmill? Yeah. <laughs> and then she sent me that video. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, that's so true. Like, yeah. now the fans know. <laughs> and I was like, I, I was so embarrassed. Yeah. And she's like, no, you should be proud of it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's okay. what she sent me. Any special food that you had? <laughs> Sorry? Any food you enjoyed in particular? This <laughs> week? Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. Um. Oh, I had a Nutella peanut butter toast today. That sounds good. It was delicious. That sounds okay. good. I good haven't had peanut butter in like such a long time. Ooh. Okay. Did they add like banana to that? That is so. <gasps> mm -hmm. That was what was missing. Mm. I was like, I was eating. I was like, wait, something is like missing from this. Banana. banana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna buy bananas next time. <laughs> you should. You wow, should. That's a real talk right there. Anyway, <laughs> I just found out an interesting fact about you two. So you guys go way back, right? I mean, yeah. a couple of years way back, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, how did you guys first met each other? Literally, yeah. Two years ago. Yeah, two I years think? ago at yeah. uh, an award show. Mm -hmm. Award show. Yeah. yeah. And did you guys just casually decide to say hi to each other and let's be friends moment and that? <laughs> well, actually, or? I was a really big fan of her before my oh, debut. Okay. So, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 and so, like when I saw that she also attended the award show that we were attending. Yeah. I like told my manager, I was like, oh, like, um, I'm a really big fan of her. It'd be nice if I can like talk to her and stuff. And oh. like, she was super nice and like okay. super friendly. So that kind of like really shocked me. Oh. Like right. she was like really different from like her Aurora that she had on like stage and stuff. Okay. So that's how we kind of. Okay. Like, People think I'm talking. scary on stage, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm a loser. So. 
I mean, yeah. guys, um, if you are kind of stereotypical about Alexa, I'm telling you right now, she's probably one of the most nicest person I've ever met on Earth. And the thing yeah. is, since you mentioned Aura, I noticed you changed the hair on your color. I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, before tour, we're like, yeah. let's shake it up a little bit. I'm like, ooh, oh. a little bit of bleach. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do my whole head. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, You didn't have to point me like that, though. <laughs> oh, this is but, uh, yeah, I just want to do a little bit. So. All right. It's okay. so brassy, though. <laughs> it's It needs to be toned. It's looks horrendous. good on you, but compared to the previous hair, it looks a little more normal if you know what i mean in a good way of course normal. yeah it looks kind of normal <laughs> oh you mean like it's not like bright pink hair like <laughs> you know well let's skip this conversation <laughs> and move on to the next part okay, okay. all right um uh either one of you please explain what this segment is all about for the <laughs> listeners <laughs> yes <please. laughs> okay so final pick was a time for a song selection battle between two artists but starting from this month we won't have these battles anymore Instead, it has been changed to a time where we read the listeners' stories and select music that fits those stories. While listening to the music chosen by the two artists, please enjoy some music therapy. Yes. I just realized there's no more Corona Trophy. We, we really are stopping <laughs> the battles. Oh, my gosh. Right. A new leaf. But I kind of <laughs> missed the Corona Trophy, though. <laughs> we'll see ya. All right, let's um, move on to the first message. And uh, I think you is going to read this one. Yes. Okay. Yep. It's from Kim65. And they said, I want to talk about my concerns regarding my friends. We're a group of three best friends, so we always hang out together as three. However, because we're three friends, there are times when one person feels left out. Even though the size of our friendship is the same, sometimes misunderstandings arise. I can't use my phone that much when I'm at home, so I can't communicate with them all the time. Two of those friends talk about trivial things over the phone. So later on, they always ask, they always say things like, did I mention this to you? And that makes me upset. It feels like we're drifting apart. Is there a way for the three of us to get along well? Or I want to get advice on how not to get too upset with my friends so much. I'm sure you and Alexa have many friends, so I hope you guys can... <laughs> You can't just assume like that. <laughs> so if you guys can give me some advice. Why are you laughing at homegirl? Why are you laughing at homegirl? You know what? She doesn't seem like a person who has many friends in her life. <laughs> Is it because she's a shy little baby? In a good like... way, of course, because she has to participate in all these classes. She has to be active as a she's member a of this girl. group. She's a busy person. She's a busy she has girl. no time to have fun with friends. Yeah. That's true, though, right? Yeah. yeah? Well, but um, you know what? Just to be a little more respective, um, mm -hmm. do you have many friends, Yue? Uh, I, I, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> How I many mean, friends can you think of right now? Um, you know, actually, two and two is enough. I guess. I mean, counting as the yeah. members. Yeah. No, uh, no, aside from the members, um. oh, exclude them. Maybe one or two. Like Way five? more than five. <gasps> that's that's so many. Good for you. That's a good number. Yeah. That's a good yeah. number. Okay. Mm. So I think that's a lot of friends you have. So any <laughs> words of advice for this person then? As oh. a person with many friends. Oh my love. No, I'm oh. saying this because I can't think of more than two when it comes to friend 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 relationships. Really? really? I mean, mm. I got tons of numbers on my cell phone, mm. but the only people I can talk to is probably one or two from that list. Well, people, if uh, I actually yeah. hang out with, yeah. would probably be like zero for yeah. me. Because of your busy schedule, I assume. Yeah. 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 But, but But in school, mm -hmm. I actually had friends. So, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of had like, who's <laughs> the club? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, well... Um, I would say like if you really feel like uncomfortable in this kind of situation, mm -hmm. then maybe you can like tell them truthfully how you feel, and maybe they like didn't know that you felt like this, so maybe they can mm -hmm. kind of consider your feelings mm -hmm. and like adjust themselves mm -hmm. with you. But like if you tell them how you feel and they still like are the same, mm -hmm. then probably they're not really good friends for you. Then mm -hmm. you should probably find better friends. Thank you so much for sharing your wise opinion <laughs> for this year. And uh, what about you, ma'am? Ma'am, who is so formal, so governmental <laughs> today. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of like what you said, exactly. It's kind of like, you know, be upfront and honest. Be like, hey, you know, I get that, you know, we're all friends, but y'all yeah. kiki on the side, but like, 
I kind of feel a little bit left out. Yeah. But you know, these things typically, typically are never done out of malice or spite. So you know, mm -hmm. hopefully they'll react and be like, oh my God, like we're so sorry. Like we never meant to do it. Like we'll be sure to like loop you in on things. But I mean, again, like you said, like if they keep purposely looping you out, mm -hmm. Once you, you know, tell them how you feel, then mm -hmm. maybe it's time to cut the cord. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, I have a very simple solution for <laughs> your problem. Just add one more friend to your group <laughs> and it's going to solve this problem magically. You can start oh. hanging out with this new friend. And I mean, it's the problem true. solved, right? Yeah. No? Four is an even number, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what if the three people become like friends? Wow. Add another one. <laughs> Add another one. Add another one. They say when it comes to a certain group of friends, always keep the number even, not odd oh, numbers. Yeah. Because really? one person will always get left out from the group if you keep the number of a friendship and e an odd number. Well, mm -hmm. this is a scientifically proven fact. So um, I'm just telling you guys the facts. And uh, anyways... um. <laughs> <laughs> well, hope my advice helped you in any way, and uh, let's move on to recommending the songs for this person. All right, starting with you, eh? Okay, well, I, I recommended the song Look At Me by Twice A Minim, mm -hmm. because like she can just tell her friends, like, look at me, I'm talking. Oh. Like, focus mm -hmm. on me. Great like, choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, you, Alexa? I chose the song Chingu or Thank You by 80s, because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah... Y'all are friends at the end of the day. You should be able to be honest with each other and communicate your feelings and thoughts. So, okay. yay, friends! Yay! <laughs> All right, with that, shall we take a listen to the songs recommended by these two amazing artists? Starting with uh, Twice with Look at Me, Nai Para, Nai Nai Para Ba Ba, chosen by <laughs> Yue, followed by ATs with Chingu, Thank You, chosen by Alexa. Enjoy!
들어 가끔 난 그런 생각을 해 어쩌면 난 꽤나 잘 살았고 그진 건 너인 듯해 막상 티켓 티켓 서로 향해 겨누지만 고 뭔지 모르고 배부른 거지 뭐 이런 말도 나딴 지러워 그 구조절에도 알잖아 내 진심은 그래 할 말이 있어 내가 하고 싶었던 그말 매일 밤을 지새워 말하지 않아도 그때 일이 아닌 전부 여기 멀었을 때 정신없이 잠든 다음 너의 컵 노래 못 이겨서 못 이겼을 때 예전처럼 편히 놀지 못해 뭐 빈틈사로 맘을 꺼내 보니 뭐가 급해 Riding shine every day is your new day Yeah 바라보네 내가 있으면 느껴 난 거에 발음 맞춰 세상 속에 공간 거친 세상 그곳에 우리 서로 함께 걷는다면 고마워 Make you a part in your mind 너와 함께 걸어갈 수 있어서 Make you a part in your mind 힘든 세상 서로 기댈 수 있어서 We're back once again. That songs we just heard were twice with "Look at Me," "Nai Para Para Ba," followed by "80s" with "Chingu." Thank you. <coughs> Thanks for the great recommendations. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. we had some fun during the song break, which we will not share on air. But um, maybe through our personal social media account, we will be able to. Or nah, maybe not. We'll keep it to ourselves. <laughs> All right. Anyway, do you guys want to cover any well good advices from our <laughs> listeners about the previous message? Why you like this today, my dude? <laughs> Anyways, I think Melanie <laughs> with the H after the M <laughs> says, "Alexa and UA, please notice me." Hello. Yay. Hello, Melanie. <laughs> What about me, though? Um. <laughs> yeah, notice me, too. <laughs> guys, Guys, notice me, too. I'm here. All right. Anyway, any other comments you guys want to highlight? Friends are come and go. It's part of our lives. It's okay if you have a small group of friends, at least genuine and true. Mm-hmm. So true, so true. Well said. And uh, rings are uh, such beautiful people. Okay. <laughs> and uh, another one, Alexa, maybe? Let's see. Yeah. Um, me, 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 me. Um, okay, Jennifer says it's not important to have many friends. It's important to have good, real friends Mm -hmm. where you can talk about your problems, who listen to your problems, and give you a good, comforting vibe and maybe help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quality over quantity, guys. True, true, true. Quality over quantity. How many good friends do you have? Like, I mean, like good, good friends that you can talk to. Yeah. When you have a certain concerns. Like, I can run to for anything at this point. Um, 
I mean, I'm not trying to flex on nobody here, but I mean, I th- I would say probably about a good seven, because <gasps> I've known most of these people for at least over a decade. Like wow. I keep in contact with my hometown friends. Like okay. my best friend, best friend. Mm. I think we're going on like 13 years of friendship. <gasps> oh my gosh. So wow. Yeah. Good for you. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing. Anyway, with that, um, we are gonna move on to the second message, and this time, Alexa, take it oh, away. Oh yes. Okay. Oh boy, this comes from Emma. Emma Nim. Emma, the condensation. No. Um. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The name Emma just makes me think of this old mermaid show that I never watched, but I only know the memes. Anyways, moving along. Yeah. Emma, no. Um, Emma says, I've been dating my boyfriend now for three years. My parents have met him and for a long time. Wait. My parents have met him for a long time, so they even think about us getting married. Mm. Recently, I talked to my boyfriend about marriage. He plans to go abroad for work, so he wants me to quit my job and go with him. But I really love my job, and if I quit now, it will be difficult to find a job later. I want to continue doing what I'm doing now. However, my friends advise me that if my boyfriend and I grow apart physically, we'll grow apart emotionally too, and it would be better to go with him. But I have my own life too. I have dreams I want to pursue. That rhymed. I'm torn between choosing love or choosing my career. Samuel, Alexa, and Yue, what choice would you make? Well, quite tricky. What advice would you give? (laughs) Well, I myself have never done like long Mm -hmm. distance, but I have friends that do long distance. And they're, you know, they're still going strong. How you long know? have they been in relationship for? Oh, boy. Uh, one of my friends has been in one for about a year. The other okay. one has been in one for about three years. And, you know, they say distance makes the heart grow fonder. I wouldn't necessarily say that mm-hmm. being physically apart is going to make you grow emotionally apart, mm-hmm. too. But I don't know. I mean, And it depends on the distance, too. But it also How depends on the personality types. Really? Yeah. Okay. What kind of personality do they have? Well... That's a good question. Yeah. I don't really know my friend's partners that well. Okay. But like out of my friends, it's like they're mm-hmm. very, they're very understanding. Mm-hmm. You know, come hell or high mm-hmm. water, it's like, you know, they're going to be understanding of circumstances. Mm-hmm. So. And they have their own lives, right? Yeah. They can yeah. still lead their own lives, but you know, they still can go to the partner whenever they want. Okay. So, yeah. so they're in relationship, not married yet. Right? No, no, no. Are they planning to get married anytime soon? It may be. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Well, if that's the case, then, well, you guys may have a way to solve this problem out. We have a good example from Alexa. And what about you? You have any <laughs> words of advice? <laughs> well, actually, like, this kind of situation is, like, kind of similar to my parents' like really? situation. Okay. Although my parents were married and then they moved to the United yeah. States. But I feel like... One thing that my dad did pretty well was give my mom enough confidence. Mm -hmm. Like, he showed my mom that he had a really stable job in America Mm -hmm. and he can take care of my mom Mm -hmm. and my sister. So I feel like if he does give you enough, like, confidence Mm -hmm. that, like, everything's going to be fine, then maybe you can try it out. Wow. That's a cool dad you have. Is he still like that? Like a traveling? very confident type of person. <laughs> no. um, he's really respectful and like mm-hmm. caring of my mom. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go, Papa UA. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but in that case, one thing I'm concerned while reading your message was you still have your own dreams that you want to pursue in mm-hmm. your country, which you will have to, well, give up on if you decide to follow him to the certain country that he's about to move to. So consider that fact because losing or quitting the dream, well, it's going to, will be quite of a depressing moment for you me personally well which what do you guys think about it i mean again yeah. I, I i think it's perfectly fine to not move abroad with him no. and still continue living your life and mm-hmm. focus on your dreams and things you want to pursue but i mean you know the heart wants what the heart wants mm-hmm. i mean if for some reason i found myself in a relationship and mm-hmm. you know my boyfriend was like hey i'm mm-hmm. gonna move to wherever mm-hmm. come with me I'd probably be sucker for it and go, but mm. like, <laughs> I have no spine when it comes to love. Mm. So, but if you have a spine, then I mean, you know, stick to what you're doing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for sending in the message. We're going to recommend sauce for you. Um, Alexa, you're going first. Yes. Um, I brought in the song Promise or uh, Yaxo by EXO. 
because, you know, regardless of if you go abroad with him or if you stay where you are, you know, you're going to be with each other regardless. You know, that's a promise that you can't break. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, don't be afraid of deciding for yourself, but also don't be afraid of taking a leap of faith and, you know, going with him. Yay. What about you, you? I chose You and Me by Jenny Zambenim because in the lyrics they're like, I love you and me. And so like, I want to tell you that like, if you guys really love each other, mm -hmm. then maybe you guys can find like a compromise or find a method for each other. So hopefully everything works out. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, with that, we're going to have a listen to these two songs and come back for the last message. We're going to begin with EXO with Yakso, uh Promise, chosen by Alexa, and uh, you had chose You and Me by Jenny. Enjoy.
You know I got ya, you know that I got you like that Ain't nobody gonna have your back like the way I do Love it, just say you do You know you got me, everything you do, everything you did Everything I wish I was with Makes me feel alright, I'm just saying so I really like it Nothing in the world can make me feel the way you do The things you do I really like it Nothing in the world can make me feel the way you do the things you do. I love you and me. Never been a love me or a love me not play. Every pedal better tell him better not change. I love you, I love me a lot. Wait, which one I love better? Better off not saying. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the songs recommended by our two amazing guests. Uh, we just heard uh, EXO with Yaksook Promise and Jenny with You and Me. Anyway, um, I saw a lot of comments on YouTube live chat <laughs> suggesting a lot of different ways for the previous message sender. So, uh, well, do you guys, including myself, let us take some time to cover a couple on YouTube. Um, anything you guys yeah. see? <clears throat> yeah. Adrian says, sender, if... Uh, if I were you, choose yourself over everything else, just like your career over love. Mm -hmm. It's your future at stake, not his. If you chose love, how can your boyfriend do something about your future? No. So true, yeah. And? That's so true. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have the same opinion with Adrian, actually, because if I were to give up on my dreams or my goals as mm -hmm. a person to just to preserve or maintain the love relationship i think i'm gonna cut tie with that person who forced mm -hmm. me to give up on myself if you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah and uh anything from you you uh i see from diana yeah you can try stuff try to separate from uh, for a while and if possible move eventually you will never know life is magical mm -hmm. okay <laughs> well maybe one more um anything um i mean are we Ari Ariane? Ariane? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's a parody name, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> Ariane Granada <laughs> <laughs> says long distance requires understanding, time, and effort from both parties. I think that's the main thing to take away because if you're both mm -hmm. not willing to put in the effort, the time, or the understanding, it's mm -hmm. not worth it. Okay. Your... All right, thank you yeah. so much for your advice. And uh, Sender, if you're here with us right now, please refer to YouTube live chat to get additional help from the listeners. And uh, we're going to move on to the third message. It's from Matt with two, two T's. Uh, please address me as Matt. 
Thank you. Hello, DJ Sam, Yue, and Alexa. How are you all doing? First thing, hello, my name is Matt, a lapis from Philippines. I'm currently studying architecture. My worry is that when I first started studying architecture, I was really enjoying it. But now, it feels like my love and passion for architecture is slowly fading away and starting to think if I really chose the right course for college. I don't know how to feel or do about it. In your line of work, do you encounter yourself feeling this way? And uh, how do you maintain the passion and love for what you do? Thank you, Yue. Maha kita fighting <laughs> lapilus. <laughs> Maha kita. Maha kita. I got a question to you too. What's yeah. Mahakita? I love, I love you. you. Oh, okay, Definitely. okay. Thank you so much. Well, Matt just asked you guys a question. Yes, he yes. did. Uh, I mean, you guys do you go first? Or? Uh, sure. Okay. Well, actually, I'm I'm doing like online college as well. Mm -hmm. A college girl. <laughs> okay. What's your major? I used to major in graphic design. That's so cool. Graphic design is my but then. Whoa. <laughs> I decided to change to like business because I even cooler. Whoa! <laughs> because I feel like like graphic design is something that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to make it into like a work to okay. do. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like changed it to business, where I feel like it it can help me find like a more stable job in the future. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like what I'm trying to say is that like you know it's fine if you want to change whenever you mm -hmm. want. And like, if you're like, like for me, if I'm really passionate about something mm -hmm. and if I make it into a job, mm -hmm. like I start to lose that passion. Right. So like, I hope you can like, how do you say it? Like, like if you're some, if you're passionate about something, then you like, don't make it into like a job. True, true, true. <laughs> and just like have fun with it mm -hmm. and like maybe find something that can really stabilize you. Such a relatable advice for you. <laughs> And uh, you, Alex? I mean, uh, that, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable, but I'm kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum because hmm. I became an idol because I was so passionate about singing and dancing and performing. Mm -hmm. Like, and to kind of answer the question here of like, how do you like maintain the passion and whatever? I sit back and I think, can I picture myself doing anything else as a job and mm -hmm. being happy about it? Because mm -hmm. granted, you know, you know, being an idol, there's ups and downs. Not everything's great. Right. Yes. But would I be happy sitting in a cubicle nine to five, <laughs> getting coffee and like having to do like <laughs> dinner at like the local pub to be like, yeah, boss, this week's sales were great. <laughs> like, no, I no, no. So sit down and envision what could you imagine yourself doing outside of mm -hmm. architecture in this place so mm -hmm. what would you be happy doing mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a job you're right so so combine the two advices from these two artists uh comes uh just do whatever you love in your life just stick to it whatever you love and it uh, seems like you your loss for architecture has faded away in my personal opinion just consider that as a passing phase of your life try to find something you love even more i mean you're still a well university college student that means you're still so young you can try out a lot of different things mm -hmm. in your life and there are so many different possible possibilities lying ahead of your future so don't be afraid of trying out new things just do whatever you love to and uh, start enjoy your life even more actually and one advice from uh chris he said matt keep at it don't give up suck it up only another two or three years out of your life you will have a ticket so um yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait uh but there must be at least one or two times you were kind of tired of what you what your job is right oh, for sure there yeah. have been several times that i'm like you know what i hate singing i hate dancing i hate performing never want to do it How again did you overcome that phase I, I sat down and I thought, do I want to be in a cubicle? <laughs> I was, like, I was wow. like, no. No other options. It's like, no, I'm not good at anything else. I'm mm -hmm. terrible at math. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't have a college degree. So. Uh... That the only thing you did? Huh? That the only thing you did? Just thinking about you imagining yourself being locked in a cubicle. That yeah, want. that made me unhappy enough. So oh, I was okay. like, no, I got to keep doing the thing, okay. you know. What about you, though? Well, like, I feel. Honestly, like, I'm not the best dancer and I'm not, like, the best singer. So, like, <laughs> so, like, honestly, whenever I'm practicing singing or, like, dancing, mm. I honestly, like, always, like, think to myself, like, am I really doing the right thing? Like, mm. is this really right? Mm. But then at the same time, like, I already came this far. Right. 
so there's like no going back mm-hmm. and there's so many people that like our lab piece are even waiting for us so like mm-hmm. i can't give up right now mm-hmm. so like that keeps me motivated i guess okay so you guys both need a certain amount of motivation to get get you guys <laughs> keep on driven <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. You know what? Um, as a, well, in Korea, we call this Hoshimine, a normal citizen myself, <laughs> who, well, sometimes sell tracks to other artists, sometimes come up in my own album, sometimes participate in festival, etc. I think I can share you a relatable advice for you, Matt, is, well, I think I'm going to recap the thing I just mentioned earlier. Just stick to what you love in your life and you're going to find yourself end up in somewhere where you feel very satisfied about yourself. So um, hope our advice helped you. And uh, I guess it's about time for us to wrap up the show already with my recommendation. I brought in a song called by Beast with Good Luck. And the name says it all. Mm. Good luck with your life. Oh. I'm mad. And um, why? <laughs> Well, Beast is a former name who's now known as... Highlight! Yeah! All right, Um, hope you guys had a wonderful time staying with us. And um, we're going to wrap up tonight's show with this one. Once again, it's Beast with Good Luck. This was your DJ Sammy Wills Hall along with you and Alexa. I'm going to meet you guys back for another episode tomorrow. Um, Shall we say goodbye together in three, two, one? Bye! Goodbye! Why? Why you leave? I'm still, still loving you. 넌 지금 나를 두고 떠나가지 마. 행복하길 바랄게. <웃음> 눈이 뻗듯처럼 항상 내게 말했지. 언젠가 올라와 나의 마지막에 난이 버드처럼 항상 너에게 말했지 내가 할수 있는 모든 걸다 해를 지킨다고 I'm not going